What's up, Fish Huge fans? Thank you for joining us on the Fish Huge Apparel YouTube channel. And today I'm going to talk about how we've been catching all these dolphin in the Gulf. And I'm going to mix in some uh, false albi uh, stuff there too and how we catch those. Um, typically for the false albi, I'll go ahead and start with that because we'll hit those on the way out. You'll see uh, 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 birds will be diving down on all these uh, schools of bait. And you'll see uh, a false albi and, and bonita coming out of the water, going after them. And, and you want to stay pretty far off and you want to give them room and, and try to make really long cast and if you can you can turn your engine off because they can hear the engine and they'll dive down and then they'll pop up you know a couple hundred yards away but uh what i do is i throw these uh squid skirts with a three quarter ounce jig head and a j hook a long shank j hook this is 58 pound uh metal line uh this is stainless steel and to a little swivel and then i'll take that to fluorocarbon and i like to use braid on my reels and i got 30 pound braid on here this is a daiwa 4000 uh, d and this is an excellent reel it's got 26 pounds of drag and it's got lots of line capacity and you can you can throw this one really far and and get into those schools from far away so that you can fish them longer and it's a light to medium action rod it is going to work really well and i'll go to i'll go to uh you can just use mono uh 30 pounds is, is usually good uh, i got 40 on this uh, you can use uh fluorocarbon if you like to you can go with fluorocarbon but it, it doesn't really matter they're they're chasing the bait it doesn't matter what what you put on there just a little bit of a shock leader a little bit of stretch for when they hit it because that braid has no stretch so that, that that's good for that um and then so for the dolphin um you don't need metal for the dolphin uh, you actually get more bites with the lighter leader and we're using these long shank j hooks and we we're putting chunks of squid on and letting it just sink naturally they were hitting that um if they didn't hit that or while they were hitting that, we were using these little yellow, like eighth ounce jig heads. And that's close to the size of the bait that was out there. So they were, they were tearing these things up. They, like, they like to hit it on the fall. So as it was falling down, you could watch it and they would go over a tag and then you would jerk up on them and set the hook. Um, they were also hitting the squid skirt on the fall too. But they were also hitting it while it was moving. It just depended on what kind of mood they were in at the time. And we kept changing up stuff. And we would also throw these little gotcha plugs and that, that thing worked really good you can see it's all beat up uh that these gotcha plugs uh you know they work on everything uh, the false alvies bonita mackerel kingfish uh, pretty much anything will hit these and uh, that's how we do that so while we're out there we're always looking for debris floating on the surface and uh this time we found some debris at 88 feet of water uh, last time it was uh, weed lines, so uh, you never know. I'm going to mix those two videos up there. Uh, we, we caught uh, dolphins on several occasions, and uh, I, I recorded them um, uh, both times. So you'll see uh, on one of them there's a big patch of weeds, and we ran across that, and we were like in 100-something feet of water. Um, and you never know, 88 feet of water, I really wasn't expecting too many dolphins, but then when we got close to it, you could see hundreds of... I mean, probably thousands of dolphin jumping out of the water, going after these little schools of bait. And they were all around this little can that was probably the size of my table here. And there were thousands of thousands of dolphin. Uh, we seen some kingfish go by. Uh, there was triple tail uh, hanging out on it too. And Caden threw out a piece of uh, a squid on a long shank. Uh, hook and ended up hooking into the uh, the triple tail that was there this time they weren't that big but we've been out there other times where we've seen some big triple tail on on some of that floating debris so anytime you're out there always look for floating debris even even if you're in in 15 20 feet of water there could be some triple tail or a cobia or something hanging out on it so these squid skirts i pre make a bunch of them see i got a bunch of different ones made uh, all I got to do is cut the tip of it off right there 
and then slide a bullet weight through, a three quarter ounce bullet weight. You want something heavy that can, that can make a, a long cast. Uh, and, and I'll keep a couple like this. I can use to throw a mono uh, leader on real quick with, with the long shank J hook, or I'll have a couple pre-made uh, with, uh, with the wire going through it for when, for when we're uh, going after those bonitas or those false albies, or you, you can even get kingfish on these too and Spanish mackerel. So you really want that wire for those, and uh, that that's that's really good uh, uh, thing to have in, in the boat, just ready to go. You could tie it on real quick and then throw it out, because a lot of times you don't get a whole lot of time with these fish. Uh, all right, so there you go. Well, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and go to our website. You can check us out there. Uh, you can get some cool apparel, and you can book a trip. Fish huge. <laughs>
Yeah, I knew it. They ain't too bad, bro. About as big as the ones we were catching last time. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Oh yeah, we get some dolphin in the golf, bitch. We didn't have to go. Got him. Green? Whatever you want to use, bro. Uh, I'm using green. I don't care. Y'all want to catch one of them bitches, bro. Come here. <laughs> okay, look at that little. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't keeping this one. I ain't keeping this yeah, one. Grab them, kid. That's how small they are. <laughs> oh yeah, killing the dolphin. Look, they're everywhere down there. Look at them all. Look, we're in 88 feet of water. And we found this tub out here floating. And there was dolphin all over it, going after these little baits. Triple tail, too. Yeah, there's some triple tail. These aren't big dolphin, but, I mean, this is what you get in the golf. Yeah, I saw that. I was wondering how you'd look weird. Oh, we got it. Oh. There's some bigger ones down there. Yeah, uh, when I put the chunk down, the bigger ones eat it. Drop it straight down, Ryan, and jig it up. Oh, dude, as soon as I jig it, watch, watch. Oh, you're chasing it. On the chunk, the chunk squid, the bigger ones, uh... Oh, he's going out there. Look, he got it. Oh, oh man. It. <laughs> oh, got one. The little guy. I actually get quite a bit of meat out of them, so... Shit, that's at least two sandwiches. That's a that's two tacos right there. Another one. That one's a little better. Dang, Ryan can't keep buttoned up. Look, look, you see them all? See right now they're not eating it, but when it gets deeper, the bigger ones get it. I just got them right here. Oh, oh little one got it. Yeah. Good job. Oh look, look, this one's hitting it, look. <laughs> look, they're hitting it just sitting here right here. Blood massacre over here. Yeah. The only thing about dolphins, man. That was an aggressive bite, wasn't it? Can't believe you missed it. Alright, let's kill it on the jig. <laughs> hey, what did you throw out there? None, it's the, they're going they're after going the bait. The, the bait fish there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a better one. <laughs> Ten per person. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. They're hanging out right here. Yeah, they're directly under us. Don't spot lock. Oh, look, there's something out there busting. Is that more dolphin? Dude, that looks like bigger dolphin over there. Oh, you put it in there? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Nice one. Look at them all, man. That is awesome. He sees it? Yeah, he sees it. Oh, that one though. Which one is it? It's uh -oh. the one. And another one. Man, where's that other jig, bro? Did I give you both? 
The uh, the green one? Yeah. Yeah, because that, uh, that ain't working too well right now. Oh, there we go. Got it. He got it. Yeah, I think he ate it. There we oh, go. Oh, he got the little one. 18, huh? Yeah. Uh, he might be 15. There's a big one there, too. Nice. Oh, he's going after this. No, I just got him. Yeah, he's a 13. But look how look how bright he is. Holy crap! Oh yeah, look at that. That's a beauty, huh? Oh, he's gonna get it. There he goes. He got it. Got him. There's another one in there too, kid. Yeah. Dude, I don't know, man. He's pretty good. Get the net. Get the net, yeah, get hurt. Quicker. Hey. I don't know. That's your biggest triple tail. That's my biggest for sure. <laughs> nice, bro. Good job. Oh. What is it? 18. Nah, he's not 18. They're on mine right now. Dan, they're, cha they're chasing the Elmaco down, bro. Seems like they like it on the fall more, don't they? Uh, they don't even attack Look. it, though. Oh, they follow it. Got him. Ah. There we go. Oh, I got the bigger one too. Watch it, right? Yeah, that's a bigger one too. It's on how you wiggle the worm, bro. Nice. Yeah, it is. That's the biggest one. <laughs> I got him on the fall. Oh man, got him in the fall. Got him. Oh, Ooh, that almost got you, Ryan. <laughs> oh, they hit it right when it goes to fall, man. Once in a while, they'll hit it on the fall for me. Got him. Yeah, let him let it fall. I thought the wind falls like all the way down, like at least. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh what? Man, that's what you get for playing with him, man. <laughs> 